Impressive early voter turnout has made it pretty clear that this year's general election is unlike any other. Because of COVID, there are precautions, and CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez reports on what you need to know if you're voting tomorrow. While every polling site will be enforcing safe social distancing, other rules vary across the tri-state area. In New York, polls will be open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Polling sites in the city will increase from 88 early voting sites to 1,200 on Tuesday. Sabrina Castillo is director of partnerships and outreach for the New York City Campaign Finance Board. If you were trying to make a plan to go vote early and you weren't able to do that, you might have a different polling location on election day. So Castillo reminds voters to look up their correct polling site. New York State does not require identification. Absentee ballots must be postmarked by November 3rd or return it in person by 9 p.m. on election day. But what if you didn't receive your absentee ballot or you mailed it in and can't track it? And if you have any concerns about the status of your ballot, we are asking if you feel comfortable to go vote in person. That in vote person vote will count over your ballot that you may have submitted. In New Jersey, the general election is primarily vote by mail. Ballots must be postmarked by Tuesday, November 3rd, and must be received no later than November 10th, or turn it in in person by the close of polls on Election Day. Any New Jersey voter without a mail in ballot can go to their designated polling place to fill out a provisional ballot. There was no early voting in Connecticut where polls are open from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Election Day. Voters may be asked to show identification. New voters may also need to show proof of residence. Absentee ballots must be received by the local town clerk by the close of polls on November 3rd, or they won't be counted. New York and New Jersey voters, a reminder, you're not allowed to wear political apparel to the polls, and as meaningful as voting is, ballot selfies in New York, that's a big no-no. On the Upper West Side, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. And as long as you are on those lines before the polls close, you will be allowed to vote. And we have a voter's guide on our website with everything you need to know for Election Day, including polling times and locations and also sample ballots. Find it at CBSNewYork.com. The hour is near. That's going to do it here for the